Hello guys, this is uh, Mouse Gamer here, and today we are doing a RPG Maker VXS tutorial. So I'm starting this new tutorial series on RPG Maker basics, and then we'll work our way up to like intermediate and advanced. So you get everything. So this is just a quick wee thing that I have made previously. And it's just really really basic. I'll quickly show you, it. and then this is what we're going to start off doing. So it's just new game it. Um so it's gonna ask you your name so you can just type in anything. Fortunately you have to use arrow keys. So I'm just gonna put my name in. Okay. So th this is our wee guy once around. He's got all these people running around the main bit. So that this red house here is going to be your house. So when you read the sign it says the name you put in and then house you go in you get this wee bit up here that says pop up saying your house um, go do it so you can get in and out everywhere I'll show you how to make your own characters um, so all the maps we have here are all sample maps so um, and most of these characters are all sample characters that you get with the full version. Um, I'm going to show you how to demo the um, trial version now. But you can just make all your characters and then we have our inn where we, where we can talk to people. And it gives you 100 gold at the very start. So you start off with 100 gold and you can stay in the inn and everything. And I don't actually think I... I think I, the one thing I forgot to do was add in like shopkeepers for the inn and for the item shop along here but we will add both them in so yeah so th there's no actual shopkeeper up here that you can talk to and buy stuff from so if we save that over there and we can just end game shut down right so the first thing you're wanting to do if you don't if you haven't already is go to your internet browser and go to www.rpgmakerweb.com put a link in the description click download don't go into here just click download it's this one here just click download here put in name and email download now and it will download it and um, i think there's a it just that just downloads a downloader and you have to then download it all the files and should be an icon something like that on your desktop if you set it up right so I think when it first comes up it'll just be as a new project or you just have to click new project which is up here and I'll just um, name this tutorial so that's fine so that saves in the place I want it to save so this is what you start off with so, pause the video now until you get to this point, and then we can, I'll show you around all the, um, the, the screen and how everything works. Right, so, you should be at this stage now. So, you'll start off on this, which, uh, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's like the map tool. So, you can draw stuff on, and... So you draw on, you pick your square, and you do have your, you do have two pages. So the, that that's your tile set. So you can just draw on the land, so you can wander about, give it some hills, stuff like that. Put some trees, forest, whatever you want. But for this tutorial, we're going to be using sample maps. So if you just click on it and click delete say yes you're sure so that gets rid of it and you want to right click on this tutorial load sample map and we are going to use regular town that's just the one i had so we're literally just going to make it exactly how i had it so to begin with you want to go down so my guy is going to start here for the now but i will change it so i don't want to do that so this is the next this is the next function up here, the event function. 
which means you can add doors or transfers or just pretty much do anything. So these are like all mini scripts. So the first thing you want to do is set your starting position of the player to wherever you want them to start. So the first thing. I'm also going to get rid of this sign here. Okay. Don't need that because our guy is going to live here. Um, and is there any other? I don't really want to put any other signs up. Hang on, let me just find the signs. Can't remember quite where they are. All right, here we go. Um. book on it because we're going to make this building up here a library I might just add that so it's got something right okay so first thing we're going to do is add all these sample maps again I'll probably now nah, I won't speed it up so first of all we need for our pub drinking bar then we need our N. I'm just going to use the one four at the end now. Um, item shop. That one. Then it would be house one. So I'm working my way along in rows. So the next is the church. Which is there. And then another house. So we'll just get we'll just do house B. Um so yes, yeah, so and then it's another house and then our church. So then we're gonna give this one um Ah, here we go. Village house. And then our church. No, not our church. Library. So that's all of our maps. So the first thing we're going to do is add doors to get into them. So to add a door, you want to right click on event or make sure you're in your events. Actually, we won't add all this now. I'll quickly just show you through the rest of the everything that we can do. And that can be the end of this video, and we can do the rest of this in the next one. So, uh, when you're in your map edit, you can draw in circles, floods, or squares, or just do single at a time. So you can, I'll find one that's like proper. So you can add them like that, you could add them as... Circles, I think it needs to put, yeah, so that's like your circle. Add it as a rectangle. A flood fill, yeah, that just fills everything. So if you've got lots of one thing beside each other without any breaks, that works quite well. Right, okay, and then as we go along we got, like, display proportions, so this one, one point uh, a half is probably the best. So now we have our database, which is how we edit what everybody looks like. So see how I had him set, set, your, set our name, which we will do, and how you look different, we do all this in here. And that we can also change, like set our own classes, skills, add our own items, weapons, armor, enemies for when we add a battle system. So that's groups of enemies, different states, all the animations, uh, tile sets, common events I don't usually use, our system, 
to name it, change colour, title screen graphic, all this type of stuff. And then the terms for stuff. And then resource manager, I don't usually use. Scripts, we might add a few of our own scripts in here. Um, that's if you're just scripting. This is all the music you've got. So you can play it at different volumes, see what it all sounds like. Um, and then our character generator, which is what I was talking about. So you can change up everything. So I'll just quickly make a character then now. Um, I think I'm just going to go with what I usually do. 1616. Um, eye colour. I'm going to go with kind of purpley eyes. Uh, kind of darker skin. So you got all your elf ears and stuff. Uh, eyebrows, five. You won't really see that. Nose, change that up. Add a cloak. Yeah. So, cloth three, I think, is like a hoodie. What I usually use. And you can change up the colours. So. Don't want them to all be in all green. Red cloak and. Got. Yeah, a black hoodie. I'll just leave it on one. I don't really want wings. To, to, I might add some glasses. Nah. Harry Potter type stuff. I won't give him an eye patch or anything. Nah, I'll leave out the glasses. So once you've if you've made your character, I think I might just keep this as our main character, and I'll quickly show you how to set that. You want to output your f their face and just name it. I'm just gonna call them test. Oh, I don't know if that that one save. Yeah, it did save. It's fine. Also, forgot to mention this also has a generate random, so it's a randomizer, and there's also a tab, so it's different for female and male. So that's quite good. I'll quickly show you how to set. And we're going to set that guy as our main character. So we're just going to use. I'm going to quickly change the maximum the now to one to get rid of all of these. So I might add some more. You won't be able to do that, I don't think, if you've just got the free version. You might try it. If not, doesn't matter. I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to get take away his name and his nickname and that because we're going to make our own character. But I'm not going to add the name of the nick, or I might change the nickname. But I'm going to leave the name blank, so you can so we set it ourselves. Whoever plays the game, set all of these to none. The now, and that's you pretty much done. So that's all the basics for the now. So we do we've got all our houses, but you can't get into any of them yet. So yeah. Um, I'll see you in the next video, I hope you enjoyed or learned something and bye.